Well, you know, there was, of course, some irony in 2009. I was spending my time avoiding all the journalists I could in the United States and traveling to uh, Eastern Congo to find these extraordinary journalists. I assure you, there's the women who work at AFM, some of my friends in the in journalism here could learn a lot from them and their great, brave, and important work. Uh, Shushu, thank you very much for what you've done. It's just extraordinary. My story is just that I, I was at a point in my life where I was feeling, you know, even by Hollywood standards, sort of especially vacuous and meaningless, and um, <laughs> like I was really, you know, doing nothing with the good fortune that I had been, that I had doing nothing to give back, to put back that sort of, um, you know, moral incumbency to do to, to help for the, to help those less fortunate weighed down on me. And I started looking around, and I came across a passage in a book I was reading about Sudan, actually, where they sort of mentioned in an offhand way, well, this conflict in Darfur has been terrible and it's killed 250,000 people, although that's only a fraction of those who have died you know, as a result of the wars in Congo. And I read the paper every day, and I consider myself so at least moderately well-informed, and I had no idea that this kind of crisis was unfolding, you know, um, without the world watching it. And, and the, the human cost of that, we've seen in the, from gender-based violence to the lives that were lost to, do, you know, preventable disease and nutrition, and a country that, whose basic infrastructure kind of came apart. And, um, you know, I wanted to approach this work from a really humble place. I didn't want to be the celebrity who says, like, why in the world does a celebrity be an expert on anything, really, other than being a celebrity?